Hi, this is Dr. Vivek. In this video, I will talk about aloe vera, its effect, its contraindications, who should not consume aloe vera and who should consume what is the right way and the right quantity to use aloe vera juice. So first, let's start with contraindications. If a person is suffering from IBS, try to avoid aloe vera. If a person is having piles, fissures, these kinds of problems, then it's better to avoid aloe vera. Why? Because aloe vera increases the blood flow in the lower part of our intestine, means near to the anal canal. So it's not good if you have piles, fissure, or if you're suffering from IBS. If a female is pregnant, then should avoid aloe vera because it can cause premature birth or can create problems. As I told you that it increases the blood flow in the lower part. So better not to do that. If a lady is breastfeeding the baby, then also try to avoid because aloe vera can get mixed with the milk and a baby can have any kind of allergic reaction. So why to take chance? So avoid it. But if a lady is obese, a little bit overweight and is having menstrual disorders or menstrual irregularities, then start consuming aloe vera juice. This is gonna help you a lot in maintaining the healthy weight also and in balancing your periodic cycle also. So very beneficial for these kinds of females. If a person is suffering from constipation, start using aloe vera. This can help you. In skin, we all know that for skin, aloe vera is awesome. It's used in cosmetics also and aloe vera juice will help you from inside also having good, shiny, beautiful skin. Actually, in Ayurveda, the holistic medical science, aloe vera is said best for eyes and uterus. So any of the issues with eyes or uterus, aloe vera should be considered. Maybe it's new information for you because everyone talks about skin and digestion, but actually it gives very good effects to uterus and eyes. So start consuming aloe vera juice. How much to consume? Not more than 25-30 milliliters in a Day. that will be more than enough don't try to drink more because many people can feel diarrhea and cramps in the intestine or even pain or discomfort in intestine so try to avoid overdosing drink 30 milliliters of aloe vera in a day you can drink 15 milliliters in the morning mixing with warm water and then drinking it and 15 milliliters in evening if you are comfortable if you feel any of the discomfort just decrease the dose in this dose it will work as an laxative it will help you to boost your metabolism and you'll get all the benefits that i have talked about in this video yes aloe vera can be drunk empty stomach you can drink it after food also but in empty stomach it's more absorbed and is more effective so make a fixed time and start consuming aloe vera aloe vera actually activates the liver enzymes and that's why it helps us in digestion so it's very good for liver that's why it's good for our skin also so these are the benefits and contraindications of aloe vera i hope this video was helpful for you or you got something new to know see you in next video with big smile up to the time smile more stay happy stay healthy